Hi everyone, Rosalind Hill here again. I'm going to offer you the first of a playtime challenges and um, we're going to look back at some of the stitches that we've done so far and then see what we can do with those. This is the chain stitch. I'm sure by now you're getting a little bit quicker at this. Keeping them loose, as I always say. Okay. I sometimes pick up the stitch, twisting my arm a bit. This is more like a traditional way of doing it, but you can carry on with the way I've taught you if you like and find the way that you like best. We've been learning a slip stitch, which we can do if we go back. We can make a little bump on our chain, like that. Make a longer chain and we can go slip stitch along like that slip stitching back along the chain and we call this the leaf bracelet and we did them like that so we've got the bump there and a leaf there both with the slip stitch some more chains and then we did need to do a little bit longer for this one. We're going to do the teardrop one. Well, sometimes I call it the raindrop, don't I? It's the shape of it that, that we're thinking of here. And to do that, we just slip stitch back here and go through both those on the hook. So there we've got that teardrop shape. So three different ones there. Carry on a little bit longer. And then we had a go at doing Picking up stitches, keeping them on the hook. So we need a little few more for this. Whiz on a bit. Plenty of chain there to work on. I'm going to pick up some stitches. And as I always say, not the first one here or undo it. I'm going to the next one and we kind of we don't take that one off the hook. We keep it on. So we're picking up stitches. Again. Hook in. Go round and keep that on the hook. Working your way along the chain. And you can do as many as you like. You could do just a few or you can pick up lots. Okay. How many have I picked up? I picked up seven there. Good number to pick up. Then you go round and that will make your half round. motif there. So let's look back again. We've got the bump, and the bumpy one. We've got the leaf one. We've got the teardrop shape. And now we've got the half round. Okay. And I think we'll just have a look at one more, which we did in one of the videos, which was the boolean. Which we like do. I like doing this one. There we go, round and round. Okay. Round as many times as you want. You could do lots or just a few. See how many I can do on here. I might make I do with quite a few. It's a big one. You can do smaller ones. Make sure you do these loose because they, they've got to go over the end of the hook. Carefully just push them off there. And then you can hook around. Join that up. Nice. Let's pull that on a little bit tighter. We've got a nice boolean stitch there. But the challenge today is for you to do these in lots of different orders. So it may be that we're going to do boolean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I haven't had to leave many between between each one. Just a few this time. So we can do them close together. And get one. Quite a big space between those two. But and then we can say, well next I think I'll do a leaf. Just a small leaf. Okay, and I'm going to go all the way up 
of bouillon that I made before. There. I've got a leaf and a bouillon. And now I'm going to go back to doing the bouillon. I'm going to do it fairly close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a little one this time. And then I'm going to do that leaf again. One, two, three, four. Just a small leaf this time. Okay. All the way up to the bouillon that I made before. So, what have we got? This bracelet, then, if I carried on with that, it could be just the bouillon, the leaf, the bouillon, the leaf. So this is the challenge, to make some bracelets where you're using what we've already learned. So it may be that you want to do half round and then a bouillon next to it. Or you might want to do a half round and a teardrop and then do half rounds and teardrops all the way along your bracelet. You could do three leaves and three teardrops. Three leaves, teardrops and make that your bracelet. Or you could do three bouillons and a half round. Three bouillons and a half round. Okay, so that's the challenge. Um, someone asked me, am I doing anything different with this instead of bracelets? So I'm going to show you something quite different now. This is somewhere that we're leading on to. And if we look at this, this is a nice, pretty brooch. Okay, you can put a pin on the back and wear it as a brooch. So what's all this leading up to then? Well, here, you can see something that looks a little bit familiar. That's the leaf bracelet, isn't it? So if you were making a leaf you, on this brooch, you would need to do a really long leaf. Okay, and then, here we've got another leaf, just slightly different shape, but this time when you get to the end, instead of you working the way back along this leaf here, you can just do one chain here, slip, oh, sorry, one slip stitch here, then a four chain, and then come back and then do the rest along there. So you've got like a little hole and it's just got a bent shape to it. The same with all these, look, they're just done in that way. We'll have a look at making a bracelet with those leaves next. Okay. And then we've got something nice to come here, making the flowers to go with it. So this is what we've been working on, leaf bracelets and working backwards with a slip stitch. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye for now.